Following up from the previous lesson, let's look at how we can solve fractional equations of this form. 2 over x plus 2 equals to 5x minus 1. Now, 2 over x plus 2 and 5x minus 1 are the same numbers. What you don't know is, you don't know what number it is, but it is a number, and this number is the same as this number. So what does that mean? It means that every operation that I do to the left side, I have to do to the right side because you need to respect the equal sign. So the first step is to get rid of x plus 2. And how do we get rid of x plus 2? The easiest way is to multiply this fraction by x plus 2 because 2 divided by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 will get rid of the x plus 2. So let's do that. So I'm going to multiply by x plus 2. And when I do that, on the left hand side, I'll be left with 2. On the right hand side, I will have 5x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. So let's open up the brackets. Now you have to remember that when you open up the brackets, you have to multiply 5x two times and minus 1 twice. So what we will have is 5x times x, you will have 5x square. 5x times 2, you will have 10x. Minus 1 times x, minus x. Minus 1 times 2, minus 2. To solve quadratic equations, you always have to move all the terms to one side and let it to be equals to 0. So I'm going to shift the 2 to this side. So let me write down 5x squared plus 10x minus x minus 2 minus 2 from this side will get you 0. Let's simplify this term and you will have 5x squared. Now 10x and minus x can be combined to give you 9x. Minus 2 and minus 2 will give you minus 4. So now all you have to do is to solve this quadratic equation, which you know how to solve because you have learned that you can make use of the formula. So x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is a, 5 is a, 9 is b, and c is minus 4. So let me write the answer on the top right corner. So x is simply equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. over 2a. So you will be left with minus 9 plus minus. Press the calculator and you will have 1, 6, 1 over 10. So x will take on two values. And if you are to press the calculator, you will be left with 0 0.369 or minus 2.17. And usually 
you need to leave the answer in to three significant figures. Three significant figures. 